know, the first time I was faced with having to help a white farmer save his farm, he, he took a long time talking, but he was trying to show me he was superior to me. I know what he was doing, but he had to come to me for help. What he didn't know, while he was taking all that time trying to show me he was superior to me, was I was trying to decide just how much help I was going to give him. <laughs> I was struggling with the fact that so many black people have lost their farmland, and here I was faced with having to help a white person save their land. So I didn't give him the full force of what I could do. I did enough so that when he, I, I assumed the Department of Agriculture had sent him to me, either that or the, or the Georgia Department of Agriculture. And um, he needed to go back and report that I did try to help him. So I took him to a white lawyer that we had, that, that had attended some of the training that we had provided, because Chapter 12 bankruptcy had just been enacted for the family farmer. So I figured if I take him to one of them, that his own kind would take care of him. That's when it was revealed to me that you all is about poor versus those who have. And not so much about white. It is about white and black, but it's not, you know, it opened my eyes. Because I took him to one of his own. Do you denounce, in the way you ask the Tea Parties to denounce, racists within your ranks? Yes, we do. We repudiate racists within our ranks. 